uh, looking back to Tuesday night, your second goal in open play for Charlton Town. Yeah, it's uh, nice to get on the score sheet. Um, obviously, we haven't had as many penalties this year as of yet, but um, yeah, it's good to get the win and thankfully I got on the score sheet. Yeah, a bit further out than your first effort, which was almost on the line, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. First one couldn't really miss. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll take any. Um, they all count the same. So yeah, please count the score sheet. And your own personal form at the moment, how do you feel that's going? I mean, somebody said the other day, it's probably the best that you, your best run of form that you've had for Charnham. Yeah, probably. I think um, obviously it helps when the team's doing well. Um, everyone's pulling together at the minute and it makes it easier playing in a team when everyone's on the same page. And yeah, everyone's doing well at the minute, so it's nice to be a part of. And is that just sort of the general standards raising and that helps you sort of flourish within that? Yeah, I think so. I think there's... Um, a lot of different things. Obviously, the gaffers came in and sort of changed a lot of things and implemented his ideas. So, um, thankfully, it's all sort of came together and we're on the right tracks at the minute. But we know it's still early doors and we've got to keep it going. Mm. He's just been talking about the distances that the mm. likes of you and Ryan Broom cover in the middle of the park and something like 12 kilometres a match, which I've got no idea what that is in old money, but it sounds a lot. Yeah, it feels a lot sometimes as well. Uh, but no, um, I've seen the middle of the, the middle of the pitch. You tend to do a little bit more running, and Broom is always off the scales. Doily as well. So um, I know the gaffer's been pleased with the running stats. Obviously, we want to we pride ourselves on working hard as well. So um, yeah, it's something to be proud of. Yeah, and actually, I suppose if everyone's doing that, then that just sort of it's the team ethic. You've got to do the same, haven't you? Yeah, exactly. That's what I was saying earlier. Um, when you're running hard, it makes it a lot easier knowing that your mates running hard and your other mates running hard and everyone's buying into it and everyone's on the same page and um, the team spirit's good at the minute and um, I'd like to think you can tell that by watching. And the away form's <clears throat> improved as well. Do away trips now feel just like a bit more like a game rather than an away game? Yeah, I think, uh, obviously we can't get carried away but it was we had to get the monkey off the back and um, thankfully thankfully we've done that and we've, we've managed to maintain a bit of form as well. It wasn't sort of a one-off, so we know we can do it. We've just got to be brave away from home and I think it was a mentality thing, but we, we know away games are tougher, so um, we'll have to be at our best the weekend again. But do you go to Grimsby with a belief that you can perform? I mean, that's sort of kind of the first thing. If, if you work hard, that you'll have that confidence that you can go there and get a result. Yeah, of course. I, we don't necessarily fear any teams in the league. We don't go into a game um, thinking we're going to lose a game. We go into every game wanting to win and believing that we can. And as I said, thankfully, the results have, have turned, especially away from home recently. Yeah, it's beginning to show how good this team could be. How good do you think they could be? Uh, to be honest, I don't want to look too far forward. We, I know it's not cliche. We literally take it a game at a time. We can't look too far ahead. Um, what we're doing at the minute is working and We'll just keep focusing on the next game. We've got a good squad and people that can come in and affect it. So, yeah, we're, we're just looking at the next game. Hopefully we, we get some points on the doors again. And how useful is that competition? You look over your shoulder, there's Rowan Ince trying to get off the bench and into the starting eleven. Yeah, it's good. We've, we've got a good squad and everyone's going to be needed. Uh, obviously, it's a long season. Um, so there'll be injuries, there'll be suspensions, loss of form. So if we want to do anything this season, we've got to have a good squad where people can come in and affect it. And we have. Thank you, good luck. Cheers. Connor, is there anything different you've done or been asked to do in your game this season? Because obviously you're still, I'm sure you're still covering a lot of ground last season, but as you mentioned, having a good run of form at the moment, possibly the best for the club. Is there anything that you've, that you've added or changed to your game? Um, there's nothing that I've been asked to change. I think maybe it's just, um, I don't know whether it's just a mentality thing. Like I said, the, the team's doing better. Uh, me personally, I've just tried to do the other side of it a bit better um, without the ball, um, trying to focus on that a little bit more. But like I said, when, when the team's doing well, it's it's a joy to play and it's, it makes everyone look better. And uh, there's, there's nothing that I've consciously changed uh, apart from that, really. I think you're training at Burnley on the way to Queen's Bay, you an overnight stay, so the manager's obviously got the, the strong connections there. What's it like training at that Premier League facility? Yeah, so it's a nice touch, isn't it? It's a glimpse into what it's like being a Premiership player for the day. Um, obviously, they're good from the gaffer to sort out for us. We get treated really well up there. The staff are lovely, but obviously the facilities are brilliant. Um, the pitches, it's just that's where you want to be. And obviously, that's why they're the best 
and they get all the best things because they are the best at what they do. But yeah, it's uh, it's always good for us to go and train there and we get looked after. Obviously, the training ground's not bad here, but is there anything yeah. particular that strikes you about their training ground that you think, wow, you know, that we can't believe they got that? <laughs> it's just everything. There's the size of it. There's pitches everywhere. The pitches are immaculate. They have the the lights on the pitches, so they're all perfect. They have the gym, the canter, everything. It's obviously you can compare it to this. It's it's Premier League level, so yeah, it's just top draw. Is it better than Melwood? Uh, it's right up there, just as good, just as good from what I've seen. Yeah, and it's it's a great, like I just said, great way to prepare and overnighter. Uh, is is the does that even help further with with the spirit that's already obviously very good here at the moment? Yeah, of course. It I've seen travelling on the day when it's a long journey. Um, it is a long day, so when we do get overnighters, um, it does help a little bit. But we've travelled on the day before and won, and we've had no overnighters before and lost. So at the end of the day, it's just we've, we've got to focus on the game on Saturday and not really take too much notice of what else goes on.